Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Alright guys, I got my first layer on, I got my carbon on, I got my 9 ounce there, I got my 9 ounce on my two hatches, and got my 9 ounce on the nose. I like this 9 ounce I got from Theracraft. It's really soft. And the good thing about Theracraft, see Associated don't sell partial, they do, but it's expensive to buy. Um, 10 yards, you know, where their craft is a lot cheaper. I mean, uh, associated, you want to buy a roll, they're competitive, but uh, uh, smaller amounts, better off with their craft. And their craft has free shipping. Now see, I'm taking these layers here, I'm going to overlap that one, then I'll overlap this one and uh, make that, because this is what holds the elevator on, right here. And this is what holds the elevator to the fuselage, the vertical stab to the fuselage. So that's why I got that carbon on that corner, right there. And see, there ain't no heavy glass up here, but there is here. So that's what's going to tie it to the heavy glass. The nine ounce. We don't want to say heavy. We ain't going to use that word. It's a bad word. See, I tape off my mold when I'm priming, and that keeps. I leave it on there, and that keeps me from slopping resin all over my edge that I'm getting ready to. Oh, uh, vacuum bag, so I don't want no resin on that ledge. Lots of resin right here. You're better off letting it soak up, you know, rather than trying to push it down. Well, if you can get that flop down, that first initial flop. <laughs> you come lining it up on this back corner, back here. Oh. saturated with resin in these other spots. And you get it laying where you want it, right off the get-go.
you don't get enough material in there, when you put your vacuum down, there's no material to make it down into them corners. So you'll end up with a big old nasty void where the material should be. It's only been an hour, a little over an hour. It's gonna be a cold, nasty weekend. I guess I'm gonna have to hit you guys with some Bob TV this weekend. How's that thing? Basically, all I can do with this now is pop it out of the mold and put it on the scale. Have it something to look at. And as I get some more molds for it done, I can lay up parts for it over the winter. And Springtime and me one hot rod A4. We hot. Scissors are just perfect for cutting this edge, man. And any extra resin, I ain't worried about daubing any extra resin out. Because that'll come out in my, when I vacuum bag it. See, so. So it all gets soaked in. 
that cloth. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Bam! All right, guys, I'm gonna keep old trucking. I'll be back with some more videos when I'm putting on the phone. We'll see you.